Hello friends, welcome back. So in this section, we will take the tour of the user interface uh, for Airflow. Uh, and uh, as I have said that uh, this is a Flask application and uh, it uh, talks to the database. So let's uh, see uh, what it is uh, like um, when the web server is up and running and you have some of your DAGs. Uh, this is uh, how it looks like. Um, it has um, in here as you can see um, it has all the DAGs that are there we can either hide the pause jar DAGs um, we can choose that so pause DAGs are like from here you can turn them uh, on or off if it's off then that means uh, it's paused and it would not uh, trigger uh, then uh, schedule is uh, when they will be executing so like you see here this is like on a monthly schedule none means that uh, it is uh, uh, needs to be manually triggered and uh, which is through this play button so anytime if you want you can trigger a DAG manually but just by clicking on this button uh, and it will start uh, so so none would not uh, start a pipeline at any time it's just uh, uh, it means that user has opted to trigger it manually. Now the concept of owner comes in when you have authentication enabled. So uh, let's say if I am if my pipelines have owner uh, business intelligence, then when I log in, I will only see my DAGs that are where the owner. Is business intelligence so there is some amount of authorization so the recent task means uh, recently how many tasks were successful and how many failed how many uh, like you can see we're hovering over these uh, circles this shows running this shows failed uh, if there is an upstream it failed um, then it will show up if there is uh, any task for retry then uh, this is like all details um, this recent task will show up last run is uh, when was the last uh, uh, time this uh, pipeline got executed and uh, diagrams just show the success running and the failures over here um, as I've said that uh, this is uh, for manually triggering uh, th this we will look as what a tree view is uh, what a graph view is and uh, all of this um, we'll just take a look in a in a few